hi guys it's taylor welcome back or to my channel if you're new here it is time for the monthly installment of what i bought this month this video obviously being march 2022 i've been doing this series on my channel for a whole year now which is crazy and you guys always seem to eat them up this month especially i've been getting so many dms and comments about how excited you are i do have quite a few things for the past few months i've been pretty minimal with my monthly expenses but this month especially i feel like i have a lot but that's pretty normal for me i find i buy a lot of clothing in the spring and fall just to prepare for the new season but everything i feature will be linked down below and let's get into it let's start off with the like beauty lifestyle products first and then we will finish off with clothing starting off with a phone case i picked this up at yorkdale mall with my friend maria we got matching ones she got orange i got this amazing coral color and they're so cute i've been wanting one of apple's silicone cases for a while such a cute color for spring and summer and honestly super obsessed with the silicone and i would definitely buy more in the future for books i picked up two different ones firstly being the silent patient i called this book the silent patent in one of my vlogs <gasps> sometimes i amaze myself with how dumb i am but it's obviously the silent patient i did really enjoy it but it's not a plot that i would typically gravitate towards i did really like the ending though i did not expect it to finish off like that it was just a pretty mature book compared to the other ones that i read the next book that i picked up is reminders of him by colleen hoover i think this is my third colleen hoover book and i don't intend to ever stop she is literally my favorite author ever i just started this one last night i'm about like 30 pages in i love her books because she creates such a build-up to i guess the climax in the middle of the book and once you reach the middle you cannot put it down so i'm still at the point where i'm not fully hooked yet but i know i will get there because it's happened to me with every single colleen hoover book i got both of those on amazon moving into skincare pieces i didn't get any makeup this month the sephora sale actually starts tomorrow and i'll probably be picking up a few things which you guys will see in the next video but firstly i got that was a really nice catch i got this body shop shower gel in the scent satsuma i've been using this shower gel me my mom and my grandma for probably like over five years now once you try this you cannot go back it smells incredible and i just get the value size because obviously i know i love it takes me several months to go through this honestly if you're gonna get anything from this video please try this and you will thank me later all the skincare products that i got are from sephora i'm just gonna quickly go over them starting with restocks i got the kiehl's retinol microdose serum i stopped using this for a while and my skin just was not looking as good as it used to so i switched back to this and in the week that i've been using it i'm never going to take a break from it again and then i got a few ordinary serums firstly being the hyaluronic acid i use this in the morning additionally i picked up a backup of my niacinamide i use this at night another backup that i got is the youth to the people of vitamin c and clean caffeine energy serum i use this in the morning and then i picked up two new products firstly being the youth to the people super berry hydrate and glow dream oil i use this for when i wash on my face i got this last week and i've already used so much of it because i do use it every single day and i'm obsessed it smells like a fruit roll up you just have to smell it it's amazing definitely will be repurchasing that one and then lastly for skincare i picked up these piece out acne treatment dots because i was breaking out so bad a few weeks ago and these actually worked very well to get rid of them i had one on my cheek you can still kind of see it but it never came up but i think they're more for if you have like a huge whitehead because it will peel it off they also have a kind of serum version of this that i'm really open to trying but i want to try the dots because i just think it's also fun the experience of sticking it on and peeling it off 
my weird i don't know now moving into the clothing which i'm sure you guys are most excited about i just got one pair of shoes so i'll start off with that i picked up the converse chuck 70s in the black high top style i've been seeing these shoes everywhere and i cannot get enough of them they're really multi-purpose in my wardrobe because i can wear them in everyday styling but i also wear these as my gym shoes i'm just obsessed with everything about them the cream base the laces, they are just so different than the Chuck Taylors, which I really like because to me, they're a little bit more unique because I haven't seen a lot of people out wearing these. I did have the platform Chuck Taylors, but I sold them because to me, these are just more timeless. These sneakers are definitely going to be one of the most popular ones for the spring and summer season. So I'm really happy that I got them before they're all sold out. I have a few thrifted pieces, but the rest of the clothing are from Skims and Aritzia. So starting off with some thrifted denim. I was unsure if I should even feature these in this video because I can't link them, but I still wanna show you guys because I did buy them this month, but I picked up two different colors of the Levi 501s. These are both from the men's section and I got them in a size 32 by 30. They were a little bit too big in the waist so I actually took these to get altered and I'm so obsessed with the fit of them. Really in to low and mid-rise denim right now. So I'm loving these. I got a black pair and then I also picked up this medium wash color. I definitely wear these more but I'm really happy that I also got the black, they're just so timeless and I honestly can't see myself ever getting rid of them. I'm really sentimental about specific pieces in my closet. Like I have a whole list going in my mind of stuff that I will never get rid of to pass on to my future daughter. Is that weird? Like does anyone else do that? I don't know, let me know. Moving into skims, I have four pieces. First is this bra, it looks so tiny but it's kind of a seamless, shapewear bra i saw this on tiktok and when i was browsing skims on essence i saw it so i thought i should try it out because it will pair really nicely under all of the tops that i got i just can't get over all the detailing on it and then there's also the sticky feature across the bottom to hold the bra in place it has adjustable straps and then the back is kind of open i'm not going to try this on but if you guys click on the link you can see how it fits. It's the perfect little bralette to wear under any white tops or any other pieces that are skin tight and you don't want any bra line showing. The next product that I got from Skims is this black cotton t-shirt bodysuit. I've never tried any of Skims products before but I'm so obsessed and I definitely want to pick up more. They're just such good basics that are really good quality so they will truly last forever in your wardrobe. I got all the tops in an extra small for reference and they run very true to size it's just the perfect t-shirt bodysuit when you want to go for that tucked in look and it's also a thong which is important for me at least and then i got two of the same tops just in different colors i believe this is called the cotton mock neck tank so i got it in black and also in the color bone. I'm all about my basics. You can wear these and style these so many different ways. And I cannot wait to wear these. It's still a little bit cold, but I feel like once we move into the warmer weather, summer especially, I'll be wearing these all the time. I specifically got this bra to wear under the Skims tops. They just fit so nicely. They hug you in all the right places. And I really like that they're long line, so they do fall lower on your stomach. And they just work so well because I've been loving low rise pants lately finishing off with aritzia i have quite a few pieces from there so i'm gonna try to fly through these starting off i have a few different bra tops firstly being this Tulua, i believe bralette i get mine in a size small i have this in nude as well i believe i picked it up in january and i loved it and wore it so much so i decided to get it in black it is just so comfortable it's a very similar silhouette to the Skims bralette, but obviously it's ribbed, not seamless. Next, I have the same bra top, just in two different colors. I believe this is called the TNA Butter Mini Bra Top. I've tried to link these for people a few times, and I think it's sold out online, which is super frustrating, but I would suggest checking in store because I have seen some recently. But I just picked up this white color, size small, literally obsessed with this. 
I had to take this off to film the video. It's my dedicated hoodie and relaxing bra. It is so comfortable. You can obviously work out in it, but I don't find it supportive enough or that it covers enough for me to do that. So I usually just wear this lounging around. And then I also picked this up in black. I haven't worn it yet because I've been wearing the white one a lot. The next item that I got is definitely my favorite piece that I picked up this whole month in terms of clothing. It is the Wilfred Cleo jumpsuit. It is pretty much just a different style of the Divinity jumpsuit where it's just made into a flare instead of just a regular straight legging all the way down. I just found I wasn't wearing my Divinity as much as I wanted, so I actually sold that one on my Poshmark. I just found there's this really weird stitching on each leg and i don't know i'm really picky about that stuff i just really didn't like the way that it looked i'm looking at a few different jumpsuits from tna that i might pick up but i just didn't want two wilford ones because they do look very similar you guys will see what i end up getting in my next video but yeah i got this taupe colored flare jumpsuit from wilfred i am very short so i did have to get this hemmed but it was so worth it because it looks amazing this also comes in black chocolate brown and baby blue if you're not into the taupe but i just thought it was really unique and everyone has the black jumpsuit so i wanted to branch out and i just think the taupe looks really good with like my skin tone and my hair if you can get your hands on it I would suggest acting fast before it's like back ordered. It might already be back ordered. I have a few pieces from the contour line from Babaton. Firstly, being this long sleeve bodysuit. I've been staring at both of these contour pieces for a while, but they've been sold out for months. So when I saw them back in stock, I decided to grab them. They're just such good staples. And then I also picked up the white tank top bodysuit. I have this in black that I got last year on Poshmark and I wore it so much in the summer. So I decided to also grab the white. I know I'm gonna wear it all the time. If you know, you know, the contour collection is just so good. Like I said, just been loving my basics. Next, I got the Sunday Best Apple Long Sleeve, I believe. I actually got this on Poshmark for like $20, such a good deal. I got this one in a size small, so I sized up from my traditional extra small. I wanted to go for something a little bit more relaxed and I believe this is the color Heather Chrome. I'm not sure if it's online. I think that's maybe why I checked on Poshmark. I'm just such a sucker for like a basic cardigan like this. I wear them all the time. Finishing off, I have two of the same shirt in two different colors. You guys can tell that's just in my nature to do that when I find something that I like. So these are the TNA ribbed crop t-shirt. I got Heather Chrome extra small and then white extra small. Not really much to say, super basic. I don't know how I didn't have any ribbed t-shirts, but I'm glad I do now. It's just nice to switch it up because the ribbing does add a different texture all right that is everything that i picked up this month but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe found some new products but that's it i love you guys and i will see you in a few days with a new video